I'm using a middle tone yellow green as a background to show off this bird and the flower. Carefully go around the template outlines and smooth out this background. And also as with a bird, use a small flat brush to paint around the flower. After this it is quicker to fill in the rest with a much larger brush. I'm painting the mottled effect for the lower section to simulate an out of focus area. Finish off the lower edge of the flower with some yellow block in the pollen as well as the yellow orange petals. With a small round brush paint the orange petals. At this stage I'm allowing the tracing outlines to just faintly show through the paint so that I do not lose track of each petal. The shadows begin to lift each petal off of each other. Work in the other shadows and tone down the orange-yellow petals. We can now start adding the highlights on the top petals and the shadows in the stamen area, but don't add too much. A much lighter background color is used for the stem. A dark green is painted in for the shadow caused by the flower head and then down the left hand side of the stem because the main lighting is from the right hand side. A final darkening under the flower adds depth to it. First begin by blocking in the basic underlying colors of the head and the chest. Take it slowly when painting the eye as this is the main part of the bird. With a small round brush we can now begin adding most of the small details. Carefully compare what you are doing against the reference photograph. Glaze in some molding and then, where you need to, whiten up the lighter feathers with some Chinese white. Now we can spot in some of the yellow color on the head and under the wings. Do more touch-ups on this chest area. Paint ultramarine blue in the large shadow area under the wing and then spot in some viridian over it to simulate a blue-green. Darken the underside of the belly because it is in complete shade. Mark out the shadows of the tail feathers and add the spots on the top side. The tail also has some grey down yellow and carefully spot some yellow paint into the shadow area of the body to really bring out the sheen. This wing is in the shade, so we will have muted colours. Start with a light blue and the grey stripes for the separation of the feathers. And here we need to very carefully keep the various tonal ranges in the right order. And notice how the bird's right hand wing is casting a shadow on this wing. Only the tip shows a transparency caused by the sun behind it. Carry this tonal range into the top shadow area. Paint in the yellow green near the tip. Now we have an idea of what the painting is starting to look like and we can see that the hummingbird is still a bit dull looking and needs to be beefed up a little. The head and the body needs brightening up and the top portion of the wing darkened up. Now in any painting, proper contrast is the name of the game. Continue touching up here and there until you are fully satisfied and the worst part <laughs> is to know when to stop. Please like this video if you have enjoyed watching it and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so we can inform you when we bring out more new tutorials like this one. If you would like to see the paint-along version of this class, head over to our website onlineartlessons.com. Thank you for watching.